Thanks for tuning in to Duell County Channel 2 for this month's Plated Up Kentucky Proud episode. Today we're going to be looking at several summer recipes and um, Kelly's going to start us off I think with beefy stuffed peppers. Yes, beefy stuffed peppers and we've already, um, you take some, you take four green bell pepper and what you want to do is wash them and then you want to um, take the tops off of them mm -hmm. and clean out the membranes and get the seeds out and then you're going to boil them for five minutes and we've already done that you know to save time so then you turn them upside down and you drain them upside down like this and meanwhile we can brown our ground beef okay. so we need a half a pound of ground beef and this is local ground beef that we got in Adair County and um, so and then it also calls for um, couscous now couscous is a North African dish so it's really interesting and it's made of semolina, which is um, granules of durum wheat. So, and it's a really good, it has a really good flavor and they're little, little pellets, like a grain. It's in the pasta, it's like a pasta. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, a, in, um, it's North African, so Morocco and different places in North Africa serve this. So we'll pour this in, and this doesn't take long to cook at all. And your water is already boiling. Mm -hmm. The water's already boiling. You, you put that in and you follow the package directions okay. for the couscous. And then we take it off the heat and let it sit. And um, we'll need to take it off the heat. And then we'll let it cook for five minutes. Okay. So we'll just take this off and let it cook. Turn the, the burner off. And then we'll just, we need to brown the ground beef. So while that's mm -hmm. cooking, you'll need um, a teaspoon of dried Italian seasoning, a half a cup of garbanzo beans, and one small tomato diced, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, we've already got our forged large bell peppers, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, low fat, and then um, one tablespoon of green onion, and one tablespoon of fresh garlic. So we have that. Now as the meat browns, we will then put in the green onion and the garlic. We'll add those. Okay. And then eventually we will mix together the couscous mixture and add everything else. Now, couscous is quicker than rice. Yes. So, which is really nice, you know. So, and it's just a really interesting dish. It is. You know, I didn't have it until we started making this. Mm -hmm. So, it's really good. It's one of those ingredients in the grocery store that mm -hmm. probably a lot of times just sits on the shelf and exactly. unless it's promoted. Yeah, because people don't know how to use it or what to do with it, mm -hmm. but you can serve it with meat or with fish or with vegetables and you can even put the vegetables over it or a stew. If you make a stew, you can pour it over that yes. as well. So, but it's really, it's really versatile and easy mm -hmm. to do. And this is the whole wheat kind because there's different kinds out there and there's the mixes that have um, the different the little packets. spices in it mm -hmm. yeah, and stuff, but we're just using the regular whole wheat couscous as the recipe calls for. And you and could use like regular if you couldn't find the right. whole wheat. Mm -hmm. Couldn't yes. use. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, definitely. Definitely. So we'll just wait for the brown, the, the ground beef to brown. And then the couscous, we let it sit up for about five minutes. And you follow the package directions. And this one said to add a uh, cup and a quarter of water plus two teaspoons of olive oil. Okay. So we did that and we brought it to a boil. Then we added the couscous and you take it off the heat immediately and then let it cook for about five minutes. And then you'll fluff it with a fork. Now that our ground beef has browned, we will add our green onion and our garlic. Smells good. Oh, I love garlic. And to me, you can never have too much garlic. <laughs> it really adds a lot of flavor. It does, it does. And that uh, really ground does. beef is really, really, it's really lean. lean. Mm -hmm. So, and you can find that in Adair County. Great. Okay, our ground beef is ready. So now we need to drain it. Okay. And then, meanwhile, while that's going on, we have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. So she's still draining that. And then our couscous is now ready. So we can combine our couscous. We'll put that over. in our um, bowl here. You can just fluff it up with a fork. We'll add the couscous. Okay. 
we'll add the um, the ground beef. Just go ahead and add the ground beef if you want to. That'll be good. We'll add that. This is already looking good because of the colors, the flavors. Or it's really, it's really smelling good. It has a really good aroma. It smells wonderful. Mm -hmm. And this it's is a good recipe, um, Kelly. For this time of the year, mm -hmm. because of the abundance of the green peppers, yes. um, we'll add our Italian seasoning. Then we start adding out the rest of our ingredients: our pepper, and our salt, and our garbanzo beans. And those are really good. And then our tomato. And we'll mix all of this up. That makes a lot of filling. Mm -hmm. It does. It really goes a long way. So, which is nice. But it's all color, it's really pretty. The red tomatoes really got a splash of color and the green onions and then the different seasonings. I can't wait to taste this. Mm. It smells really good and the garbanzo beans are good. So then we'll take our casserole dish and we'll put our peppers in there. So what you wanna do is you wanna get, um, and we'll put the cheese on last. That's what we do. We put the cheese on last. So okay. you'll get your, your green bell pepper, or you could even use red bell pepper if you wanted to. And red bell pepper, it has um, more vitamin C and A than green bell peppers. Wow. So you could actually use just any color of mm -hmm. bell pepper. Yeah. And the red pepper is a lot sweeter too. Mm -hmm. It is. And you could use a variety of peppers, mm -hmm. you know, of, of the bell peppers and stuff. So. Now we're going to fill the mixture and you want to fill it evenly and put it in your bell peppers. These look really good. And these are so much fun. I mean, you could even garnish around the edges, you know, mm -hmm. take a garnishing tool and make it look pretty. Oh yeah. Like scallop them or mm -hmm. be, do different things. Be pretty. Mm -hmm. These are really pretty. And the garbanzo beans, those are a nice touch. And garbanzo beans and chickpeas, that's the same thing, right, Kelly? Mm -hmm. Yes. So some people may have heard them, heard it called, uh, you know, one name and not realize that it's really yeah. the same ingredient. Mm -hmm. They are, that's right. Because I'll do that in the grocery store. I'm like, oh, that's right, it's called chickpeas or garbanzo beans. But it goes hand in hand. And then we did, you know, we parboiled these for five, for five minutes. Then you take them out and you drain them upside down, the peppers okay. and everything after you clean them out. So you've got plenty of stuffing left. Yes, we have so, enough stuffing for more peppers. Mm -hmm. Which will be good. Now we're going to put our cheese over okay. the top of them. So we'll do that. These are going to be really pretty. And then we're going to put them in our preheated oven, you know, 350 and let them cook for about 15 minutes. And this is low-fat mozzarella cheese. Cheese makes everything good. Oh yes, <laughs> it does. <laughs> it does, I love cheese. I love different kinds of cheeses and, and that's what's fun about recipes. This is a good dish to just do. And it doesn't take that long. There's not much prep time. All right, now if you'll pop that in the oven, we'll cook it for about 15 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes or until the cheese is melted. All right, now we're back and it's been 15 minutes. Ooh. So let's see how the peppers turned out. Ooh, they smell they wonderful. Oh, yes, they do. Yum. Mmm. Now they'll be hot. So I won't touch them. Mm -hmm. So I'll use these tongs. And we'll just, you know, we'll split one in half. Okay. And we'll see. They're, but these they're really are beautiful. Big. Oh, and they smell so good. Mmm. Okay, so we'll put this here. And we'll see how this does. All right. Thank you. Hmm. They're so pretty, you don't want to I know. I hate, to, I hate to cut it. <laughs> I do too. I'm like, how am I going to do this? Ouch. So 
So now we're going to plate them up. Obviously, it's not a good idea to cut these in half. No. You just serve them whole. But they were so, so big. I know. They were. So, but this still, you know, it'll be all right. We've just learned you don't cut this. and So, it'll be good. All right. So now we're going to taste now. Plate this up. It'll be good. There you go. Ooh. Let's see. Ooh, I can't wait. This is the first time I've tried this recipe. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Mmm. The filling is so good. Mm -hmm. And the, the couscous mm -hmm. gives it a really good texture. Mm -hmm. It does. Mm -hmm. The meat, the seasonings are really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect blend of flavors. Mm -hmm. And the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And so much color. Oh, yeah. Very good. It's very colorful dish. It's really good. And the garbanzo beans are excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, I could stay and eat all of this, but we have to move on to our next recipe, the tomato basil bruschetta. Yes, and that's featuring tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. <laughs>